Light of the World, Learning English Through the Bible, Unit A2-32. Copyright 2022 through 2024, Literacy International. Pray, Review, and Preview. Bible Reading, The Rich Young Ruler, Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 through 30. Theme, Safety, Pronunciation, Unstressed A, uh, spelled A and E, Grammar, Reflexive Pronouns, and Irregular Verbs 21 through 30. What do you see? Personal safety tips. When you ride a bike, motorcycle, or skateboard, always wear a helmet. This will protect your head if you fall. Be careful when you are cooking with fire. Cooking oil, paper, and clothing can be flammable. Fire can be very dangerous. If you hear a fire alarm, leave the building immediately. Always wear a seatbelt in a car. This will help keep you safer in case of an accident. Lock your bike, car, or house when you leave. This makes it harder to steal things. Match the definitions to the correct words. 1. A seatbelt. A seatbelt. 2. A helmet. A helmet. 3. An alarm. An alarm. 4. An ambulance. An ambulance. A. A loud noise or signal to warn you of danger. B. A van that takes a sick person to the hospital. C. A special hat to protect your head from injury. D. Something to put on in the car for safety. Match the definitions to the correct words. 5. To steal to steal, 6, to lock, to lock, 7, toxic, poisonous, toxic, poisonous, 8, flammable, flammable, E, something that can make you sick if it enters your body, F, to fasten something so it cannot move, G, something that can catch on fire, H, to take something that is not yours. Match the beginning and end of each sentence. 9. When you cross the street, look both ways. 10. The driver is careless because she is using... 11. The lights and computer are powered. 12. Glue, cleaners, and insect spray are chemicals that... I. Her phone in traffic. J. Can be dangerous. K. To be careful. L. By electricity. Reflexive pronouns. When our son was a baby, he needed help with everything. He couldn't feed himself or bathe himself or even walk by himself. However, now that he is six years old, he wants to do everything by himself. Now he says, I can dress myself, I can reach the shelf myself, I can walk to the park by myself. We all like to do things ourselves, but sometimes we need to ask for help. Who do you ask for help when you cannot do something yourself? Reflexive pronouns show the subject did and received the action. Subject pronoun, verb, reflexive pronoun, singular. 1. I hurt myself. 2. You, singular, burned yourself. 3. He cut himself. 4. She drove herself. 5. It scratched itself. Plural. 6. We did it ourselves. 7. You, plural, wrote it yourselves. 8. They helped themselves. Ask and answer the questions. Subject, pronoun, reflexive pronoun. For example, 1. Who cut your hair? I cut it myself. 2. Who taught them English? They. 3. Who paid for her ticket? 4. Who made his cake? 5. 
Who scratched the dog? 6. Who locked our door? 7. Who lost my book? You. 8. Who did we see in the mirror? Irregular verbs. Base form. Simple past. Simple past tense sentence. 1. Hear. Heard. I heard an ambulance go by last night. 2. Keep. Kept. He kept his door locked all day. 3. No. Knew. They knew they could do it themselves. 4. Leave. Left. She left the party by herself at 7.30. 5. Lend. Lent. We lent them helmets to wear. Irregular verbs. Base form. Simple past. Simple past tense sentence. 6. Let. Let. I know you let me win the game. 7. Lose. Lost. He lost his helmet last week. 8. Make. Made. We made dinner ourselves. 9. Meet. Met. You met the careless driver yesterday. 10. Pay. Paid. They paid the electric bill last month. Listen and repeat. How do you keep yourself safe? I wear a helmet when I ride my bike. It's good that you are so cautious. Yes, I also avoid anything poisonous like breathing or touching toxic chemicals. What do you do? Well, I always lock my doors. I don't want anyone tempted to steal from me. You are very smart. Unstressed vows are often pronounced a. Uh. One, a uh, spelled a. Ago, above, flammable, chemical, ambulance. Two, a uh, spelled e. Heaven, enemy, problem, open, broken. Four, the chemical is flammable. Five, there's a problem with the door. It's broken. Listen and repeat. A. Hmm hmm. Hmm hmm. Ourselves. Itself. Themselves. Himself. Alarm. B. Hmm hmm. Hmm hmm. Seatbelt. Helmet. Broken. Careful. Toxic. C. <laughs> Chemical, flammable, poisonous, ambulance, anything. The rich young ruler, Matthew chapter 19, verses 16 through 30. One day, a rich young ruler came to see Jesus. He wanted to ask him some questions. When he got to where Jesus was, he asked him, Good teacher. What good thing must I do to have eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good. There is only one who is good, and that is God. Now let me answer your question. If you want to have eternal life, obey God's laws. Which ones do I need to obey? he asked. Jesus replied, You must not murder anyone. You must not commit adultery. You must not steal. You must not tell lies about others. You must respect your father and mother and love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. The young man said, Teacher, I have obeyed all these laws ever since I was a boy. What else do I still need to do in order to live forever? Jesus looked at him in love and said, There is still one thing you need to do. Go and sell everything you own. Give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come and follow me. When the young man heard Jesus tell him to give away his money, he became sad because he was very rich and did not want to give away all the things he he owned. He turned and went away from Jesus. When Jesus saw that the man was very sad, he said to his disciples, It is very hard for rich people to enter into the kingdom of God. 
it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at what Jesus said. They said, If it is like this, who can be saved? Jesus looked at the disciples and said, God can do things that are not possible for people to do. He can do anything. Peter said to Jesus, We have left everything we had and followed you. What will be our reward? Jesus said to Peter, I tell you, everyone who has left houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother, children, or property for my sake will receive a hundred times more and will also receive eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. Answer the questions. 1. Who came to Jesus? 2. What did he come to do? 3. What were three of the laws Jesus talked about? 4. What was Jesus' final answer? 5. Why did he walk away after Jesus' answer? 6. What does it mean for you to follow Jesus? 7. What do you feel Jesus wants you to give up for him? Good morning, team. I'm Joe, the company safety manager. Thank you for arriving on time for today's meeting. As you know, there was a bad accident here at work yesterday, so we are going to discuss safety. We don't want anyone to hurt themselves. If you are careless, you may burn yourself or cut yourself at work. I hurt myself yesterday because I forgot to put on my helmet and I hit my head on a shelf. It's important to have good safety habits. Always wear earplugs when you work with noisy machines. If you are driving the company van or forklift, you must wear your seatbelt. Do not touch, breathe, or drink any toxic chemicals. Be careful when you put gasoline in the tank because it is flammable. Last year we called an ambulance because a careless worker forgot to turn off the electricity when he repaired a machine. He got a very bad electric shock. If you hear the fire alarm, leave the building immediately. The exit signs are posted above the emergency doors. Then, wait outside until the fire department says it's, it is safe to return. Also, always lock the doors of the building when you leave. It's easy for thieves to steal things when the doors are open. Thank you. I appreciate your taking the time to listen. And please, be careful. Listen and answer the questions. 1. Why does Joe thank the team? 2. Why must you be careful with gasoline? 3. What should you not touch, breathe, or drink? 4. Where are the exit signs? 5. When it is, it, is it easy for thieves to steal? 6. When must you leave the building? Partner A. Complete the chart with your partner. A. Who fixed the car? B. Joey fixed the car himself. Person, present activity, past reflexive sentence. For example, one, Joey fixed the car. Joey fixed the car himself. Two, Sue and Lou. Three, put on a helmet. Four, you and I. Five, fasten the seat belts. 6. The kids. 7. Pay the rent. 8. Sarah. Partner B. Complete the chart with your partner. B. What did Joey do? A. Joey fixed the car himself. Person. Present activity. Past reflexive sentence. For example, 1. Joey fixed the car. Joey fixed the car himself. 2. Let the sheep out. 3. I. You. 4. Meet the mayor. 5. You guys. 6. Still a, a camel. 7. You. I. 8. Lock the doors. Game. Name 4. For example, name four toxic chemicals. Bleach, gasoline, bug spray, paint. 
1A, homework. Write about the pictures with reflexive pronouns. For example, one, he fastens the seatbelt by himself. 1B, write about the pictures in the past tense. 2A, fill in the blanks. Myself, she, he, we, itself, herself, himself, yourself, ourselves, themselves. A. Thomas dressed for the costume party. Sue also dressed. However, the dog wasn't able to dress. B. I want to do my homework by tonight. My brothers do their homework by two. C. We sat by in the cafeteria. D. You need to watch or you're going to get hurt. 2B. Fill in the blanks with the correct past tense form of the irregular verbs. Make, lend, hear, pay, lose, meet. For example, 1. He lent me the book last week. 2. My mom, a cake for my birthday. 3. They, at the party last night. 4. We, $40 for our concert tickets. 5. I, the alarm last night. 6. The soccer team, their game yesterday. 3. Discuss the questions with the partner. 1. What can you do to be careful on the road? 2. What do you like to do by yourself? 3. Do you prefer to study by yourself or with friends? 4. Who did you meet last week? 5. What can you do to keep your home safe? 6. What are some things that are flammable? 7. What are some things that are poisonous? 4. Write the E words in the pronunciation columns. For example, a uh, heaven. E. Jesus. 5. Bible Reading Review What do these words of Jesus mean to you? 1. Love your neighbor the same as you love yourself. 2. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. 3. Many who are first will be last, and many who are last will be first. 6a. Choose one verse to memorize. a. Jesus answered, If you want to be perfect, then go and sell all that you own. Give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. Matthew chapter 19, verse 21 from the ERV. b. Great blessings belong to those who are tempted and remain faithful. After they have proved their faith, God will give them the reward of eternal life. God promised this to all people who love him. James chapter 1 verse 12 from the ERV. 6b. Choose one verse to memorize and read the next verses. C. The Lord will save me when anyone tries to hurt me. He will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom. Glory forever and ever be the Lord's. Amen. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18 from the ERV. Read the next lesson's Bible verses, Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 through 35 in your language. 7a. Read and answer the questions. Home safety for the Kim family. We rarely thought about safety until we had children. Now that we have a young son and daughter, we want to be sure that our family is safe in and around our home. Some chemicals in our home are toxic if they are touched, swallowed, or inhaled. Even dish soap can make children sick if they drink it. So we lock up our cleaning products and other chemicals so that our kids cannot reach them. We also cover the electrical outlets and move wires and cables out of reach so no one touches them and gets shocked. 7b. Read and answer the questions on the next slide. 
being careful can prevent fires. So we keep flammable things like matches, lighters, and paint thinner away from heat and away from the kids. We also installed smoke alarms in our home to detect fire and sound a warning. At night or when we leave the house, we lock the doors and windows to keep us safe from strangers. When Kayla rides her bike, we make sure she puts on a helmet and doesn't ride on busy streets. In the car, we all wear seatbelts. The most important thing we do is to pray and ask God to watch over us. We trust Him, and He is our protector. 7C. Answer the questions about home safety. 1. How can helmets protect us when we ride bikes? 2. What does being careful mean when using chemicals? 3. What can happen if you forget to lock the door of your home? 4. How do you handle flammable, toxic, and electric items at home? 5. If you are home alone and the smoke alarm goes off, what would you do? 6. When do you ask God to keep you or your loved ones safe? 8. Write about your safety habits at home, work, or outside. Use at least five sentences. Nine. Now I can I can talk about safety. I can use new words including and I can use reflexive pronouns and irregular verbs. I can understand that God can do anything. Reflections and closing prayer. 